So how'd it go for you there? Went great. It went great. I loved it. I love Sacramento. It's awesome. Um, what type of advice has your dad given you about going through this whole process mm -hmm. and your journey to the NBA? Just focus on getting better every single day. You know, whatever the GMs or scouts decide, that's on them. It's just about me getting better every single day and controlling the things that I can control. What's, what's going to be the toughest challenge of, of making that next step for you? I'm not sure. Just maybe just getting getting more reps and, you know, just practicing more at it. Just this is really it. For people who have no idea, I mean, obviously, there's probably not a day that goes by where people don't ask you about mm -hmm. your father. And, you know, obviously, you're mm -hmm. following in his footsteps. What's mm -hmm. the biggest challenge in doing so and, and having to follow someone who was at the one of the top people in their game? Honestly, it's not really a challenge. It's all about perspective and the way you look at it. And I don't look at it as a challenge or a negative thing. I look at it as, as awesome. You know, he has connections. And if he doesn't have the answer, he can go to Patrick, who was my coach at Georgetown, or to Kim Bay and all the other greats he's played with or played against. You know, so. Yeah. It's quite a luxury. Yeah, it's awesome. I don't, I don't look at it as a, as a bad thing at all. Yeah, what was that experience like? Obviously, you've mm -hmm. known Patrick for a long time, being mm -hmm. able to have him as your coach. What mm -hmm. was that like? It was, it was kind of weird. It took some adjusting to get to. He's still on my phone as Uncle Patrick. You know, mm -hmm. it, it never changed from that. So um, it was kind of difficult. But at the same time, you know, me and him both have the understanding that when we were in practice, when we're on the court, you know, we still have the same love and affection for one another. But at the same time, it's, it's about getting a job done and, and getting to work. So. What is it that you hope to show teams that you weren't able to show them at Georgetown? Just, just how good I am, how versatile I am, and, and how I can help a team win. With uh, obviously having Patrick Ewing and being coached by him, he's always had the dream of going to be able to do that in the NBA. Mm -hmm. um, for whatever reason, just didn't get a shot. How mm -hmm. do you view that, and just how much do you think that that means to him? I, I, he definitely deserves a, an opportunity, in my opinion. You know, he's, he's coached at the, the highest level for 16 years. He's one of the 50 greatest players of all time. You know, he obviously didn't get a chance, to, didn't didn't win a championship, but in my opinion, he's one of the best players to ever play this game. So, you know, just from that standpoint and what he's shown, um, he, he definitely deserves a chance, in my opinion, and he should get it. And is there anything like playing at Georgetown when you're, you know, got all those guys around mm -hmm. you who've done it? It's awesome. It's awesome. Like I said before, it's a luxury, you know, just having all these guys um, at our disposal, you know, to help us out. And they only want the best for us, which is amazing. So thankful for that.